Bailey Zappi threw for over 10,000 yards and 78 touchdowns at Houston Baptist and 5,967 yards and 62 touchdowns in his lone season at Western Kentucky, breaking multiple NCAA passing records. Zappi, an unranked recruit coming out of high school, saw a transformation from just a regular Division I quarterback to a superstar with the arrival of Zach Kittley his sophomore year at Houston Baptist. Kitley, an air raid aficionado, not only turned around the Houston Baptist offense, but also the Western Kentucky offense this year with the help of Bailey Zappi and looks primed to be the next great offensive mind in college football. But who is Zach Kitley and why will he be successful at Texas Tech? Stay tuned to find out. Before we get into why I think Zach Kitley is a fantastic hire for Texas Tech and why I think he's a coordinator on the rise, let's go over his backstory. Zach Kitley was born on August 14, 1991 and grew up in Abilene, Texas. His father Wes is currently the track and field coach at Texas Tech, taking the job back in 2000. Kitley would initially walk onto Abilene Christian's basketball team in 2011 but decided to walk away from basketball to pursue a career in coaching. He would transfer to Texas Tech and spent his first two years there as a student manager for his father's track team before deciding to coach football. He would earn a position on the Red Raiders football team as a student assistant to Sonny Cumby. Kitley would grind no matter the activity whether it was going over film or doing other things for the Red Raider program and coaches took notice. Then in 2015, he was promoted to be a graduate assistant and as a grad assistant, Kitley served as an assistant quarterback coach where he would work closely with future NFL MVP Patrick Mahomes. He spent three years working with Mahomes, who would leave Texas Tech in 2017 to take over the offensive coordinator role at Houston Baptist, an FCS program. Cliff Kingsbury, the Red Raiders head coach at the time, lauded Kitley's work when it came to developing quarterbacks. Kingsbury spoke on the future star offensive coordinator in April of 2017, saying, It's definitely freed up some time when I can go sit in different meeting rooms, go talk to different coaches, and hand it over to him, trusting that because I haven't really been with another guy that was underneath me that I trusted like that with the quarterbacks. He's really sharp. He's got a rapport with those guys. The sky's the limit, I think. Kitley engineered a turnaround of the offense that ranked in the bottom half of the FCS division, prior to his arrival to one of the top passing offenses in the country behind an air raid offense. While at Houston Baptist, Kitley was involved in the development of another quarterback prospect in Bailey Zappi, who would play a critical role at his next coaching stop. Kitley nearly tripled point production by the end of his three-year tenure at Houston Baptist and was named a member of 24-7 Sports 30 Under 30 in the class of 2020. Kitley would then be named the next offensive coordinator for Western Kentucky in December of 2020, which had struggled offensively the year prior, averaging 19 points per game, 164.3 passing yards per game, 290.3 yards per game, and 4.6 yards per play, all of which ranked in the triple digits nationally. While he was with Western Kentucky, he helped the Hilltoppers jump from the 114th scoring offense in the nation from the 2020 season to the second best scoring offense this year. Western Kentucky averaged 43.1 points per game and ranked third or higher in four major offensive categories. Kitley's quick rebuild at Western Kentucky was possible because of the transfer portal as four of his players at Houston Baptist, quarterback Bailey Zappi and three receivers, followed him to Western Kentucky last offseason. Zappi told Pro Football Focus he calls his offense the Ferrari, and he hands the keys before every game. He has this little joke that he says. He's like, look, you got the keys to the Ferrari, just don't wreck it. It's kind of a thing where out on the field, no matter what the down or distance is, I have the full range of the offense to check in or out of any play that I want. That's kind of what makes it work. Two receivers have surpassed 1,299 yards, with Jarrett Stearns leading the team with 1,718 yards and 14 touchdowns on 137 catches. Jason Helton saw the need to take a chance on the then 29-year-old offensive coordinator who had a creative approach when it came to running the offense. Kitley was named the Offensive Coordinator of the Year this past year by 24-7 Sports. Former winners of the award include C. Sarkeesian, Joe Brady, Mike Loxley, Josh Heupel, Joe Moorhead, Lincoln Riley, Tom Herman, and Mike Bobo. Zach Kitley orchestrated one of the greatest statistical turnarounds in college football history in his first year leading the Hilltoppers offense. The gigantic leap along with the 8-win season in the school's first division title in Conference USA since 2016. As a result, Joey McGuire would decide to bring Kitley back to Texas Tech to serve as the Red Raiders offensive coordinator. McGuire spoke on the Kitley hiring saying, Zach Kitley represents one of the top young offensive minds in college football, and we are thrilled to add him to our staff as offensive coordinator. 
in a short amount of time, Zach has built a reputation as an innovative play caller and effective developer of the quarterback. We're excited to welcome him and his family back to Texas Tech. Kitley spoke on returning to Texas Tech saying, My family and I are excited to return to Texas Tech in a place I love so much as an offensive coordinator. It is a dream come true for me, personally, and I can't thank Coach McGuire enough for the opportunity. I'm looking forward to meeting our players soon and immediately getting to work and building this offense into one of the nation's elite units. Miami, Ole Miss, and Auburn were all mentioned as being interested in Kitley as their offensive coordinator, but the Red Raiders were able to swoop in and get him. Hey you! Yeah, you! Do you think Zach Kitley will be a future head coach down the road? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate it because it really helps the video and the algorithm. Personally, I love this hire for Texas Tech. The Red Raiders averaged 30.2 points per game and 412.5 yards per game this past season. With the addition of Zach Kitley, the offense has a chance to be even more explosive. Texas Tech will have a relatively deep quarterback room next year, with three players getting major playing time throughout the 2021 season. The Dallas Morning News writes, Tyler Shuck threw for 872 yards, six touchdowns and three interceptions in four games, before breaking his collarbone and missing the rest of the season. While there's nothing official on Shuck returning next season, it's easy to see how he could excel under Kitley. Donovan Smith had an up and down moment as he stepped in as a starter, but that's normal for a redshirt freshman. His ability to throw on the run and force defenses to respect his legs is exciting. Then there's the talented Baron Morton. He didn't get many game reps this season, but his arm talent bodes well for the future. Kelly has developed both Patrick Mahomes and Bailey Zappi, so it leads you to believe he should have the same success developing one of those Red Raider quarterbacks into a future star. He runs a very pass-friendly offense, but the thing is, Texas Tech has never struggled to score points. They've always struggled with letting up too many points, so if they want to succeed at a high level, they will need to improve on that side of the ball. I also find Kitley to be a future head coach down the road as an intriguing idea. Right now, he is only 30 years old and will need to prove he could be successful at the Power 5 level. Former Texas Tech quarterback Patrick Mahomes was excited when Kitley was hired, showing his approval on Twitter. Other hires on the offensive side of the ball include Stephen Hamby to be its offensive line coach and Josh Cochran to be the tight end coach. Hamby had coached at Western Kentucky with Kitley and his offensive line unit gave up 16 sacks all year, which ranked 12th best in the FBS. He also played at Texas Tech. Cochran was an offensive line coach and co-offensive coordinator at Austin P. State University for the last two seasons. He worked with Joey McGuire at Baylor from 2017 to 2019, where he was a quality control coach. They also have DeAndre Smith as their running back coach and Emmett Jones as their wide receiver coach and passing game coordinator. The Texas Tech fan base seems pretty excited when it comes to the Kitley hire, and I can't wait to see what he is able to do next year. Don't be surprised if he is a head coaching candidate down the road one day. But what do you think? Would Kitley find success at Texas Tech? Make sure to let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos right here. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and as always, Remember to embrace the grind.